Hi there, YouTube. How about a tea review? I've been drinking lots of loose uh, Chinese pressed Bing's and uh, Tucha style uh, Pu'er tea. So I was at the local uh, Indian um, market right beside the closest Indian lunch buffet. And I found this yellow label tea and a quick search online um, gave me some info about the history of the Lipton Tea Company. Now I know this is not often regarded as quality tea, <clears throat> but I just bought it on a lark. Sometimes um, that happens. Well it says finest blend and quality number one. I've got a little bit of a cold, uh, so I had a couple of days of congestion and now I've got a little bit of a cough developing. Hopefully it'll be gone over the next day or two. Oh, and let me show off one more special item for you. This is my new Christmas mug. Dinosaurs. Oh. You can see that um, with the hot liquid inside, they turn to skeletons. So for the nose, I'm going to try to be objective about this. There's a little bit of a sweetness in there. Um, the appearance of this tea was a little bit strange. It's sort of gunpowder-esque. Packaged well, I mean, it's a lot of tea. It's very strong. So, I think in future cups I'm going to make it quite weak. But the trouble is, I want the heavy caffeine kick for the drug effect, but I don't, I don't really want to have something that's overwhelming. I've become quite accustomed to these middle-of-the-road types of intensities when it comes to tea flavor. <coughs> So you can see that it's sort of a powder and it's it's frighteningly reminiscent of the dehydrated instant tea uh, which is terrible and I would not ever ever recommend getting it ever so it's processed in a way where they bust the leaf into little bits probably on industrial like milling machines and then they well they just roll it up into little balls but uh, it's always suspicious what a corporation is going to do to a product. This is probably not the Lipton tea that the Lipton guy made years ago. So there's also a little bitty hairs in here, kind of reddish hairs. Interesting. Mixed throughout. It's just the it, it has a, a an appearance of the most vile and poor quality dehydrated tea. Um, ah, as it moves over my uh, uh, into my nose, especially when smelling it from this box. It's kind of got a uh, freshness almost and it has even sort of a um, uh, the smell of an antique. Yeah, there's a little bit of a sweetness I'm picking up. Now this is probably not the best time to be doing a review since I'm just coming out of a heavy congestion period, but whatever. Wish I knew the I kinda wish I knew the manufacturing date because you know this stuff can sit on the shelves for a long while. So here we have it. That says Lipton Yellow Label Tea. So 
this will be a fast review, I guess. <sighs> I'm up really early. I've got to work at 10 a.m., which is rare for me. Usually I work at um, 3 p.m. So for the next two days, I'm starting in the mornings. The color of this is a seriously dark it's like there's a gla glassy sheen on the very top and then below it it just moves down into a real murkiness um, the color is really kind of beautiful it's really strong I always err on the side of stronger teas That's the problem with chopping up a tea into the finest little bits. It's very thick with tannins and astringency. Very thick. I'm accustomed enough to it where it's not really that bothersome, but it is a pronounced kind of a uh, a sensation that's directed very forward in the mouth uh, up on the gum line behind the front teeth especially on the top of the palate it's got um, a good medium body actually a pretty satisfying body this is one of those teas that is um, the grade graded for the consumer to make it and spice it up with sugar immediately. And a lot of the re online reviews I was just browsing through mentioned that they thought it was a perfect kind of an iced tea, and it would be, because it would be much weaker, and that flavor, uh, when, it's, when it is sweetened, sweetened up properly, it would make for an awesome iced tea. But for me, I'm not going to go through all those motions to make iced tea. It's just not something I'm interested in. I can enjoy a good southern glass of iced tea. But this is not a phase in my life when I'm going to be making it. Ooh, yeah. Well, um, what I'm probably going to wind up doing with this is uh, it's going to hang around. Often... If I'm doing a long marathon tea drinking session, I start with uh, pu'er tea, and I'll have a cup or two of that, uh, and then I will start layering in other types of teas just to make a pot, a blend in the pot, and then as I just sort of keep drinking tea throughout the day, the character changes because it becomes a real stone soup kind of a tea. So this is going to accent that nicely. I think with just a few uh, sprinklings and a crumb or two mixed in, um, it's it would it would lend a uh, lend something positive to the to the tea vessel. Not a lot to say about this one, really. Uh, I think that my opinion probably would be the same, even if I hadn't been a little bit congested. Actually, I've been able to taste food for the last several days, so it's been more of like a upper respiratory congestion, nothing that's really influencing my palate. And everybody knows what Lipton tea is like. I mean, it's a fearful, fearful stuff. But um, supposedly he brought tea to um, a lot of people. Like, he started snatching up um, Sri Lankan tea properties and plantations and also in the states and um, was kind of right there at the beginning when they were establishing the uh, the tea industry in those countries so I think that it's a little suspect since it's a corporate product like there's no no visible stems there's, it's, it's completely terrifyingly uniform. Um, but there's something about it that I like. Namely, 
What I like is the idea of um, having a store of items. Like if you were only going to be getting your supplies to survive on, and you got a pound or two of this stuff, and you used just sprinklings of it, this would get you through a whole year until you got back to market. Um, so as like uh, there's that uh, inner adventurer that really gets a sensation of you know I've got this low cost store of goods now and I've got it in bulk I don't have to worry about um, you know getting involved with all the wrangle jangle of the market and worrying about any type of bougie nonsense I've just got my tea and here it is and this is what I'm gonna drink uh, and for centuries, I guess that's the way that it's been. So, so I've got a fondness for this tea here, uh, but I'm also very suspicious of it. So doesn't that just kind of <laughs> lend itself to uh, a lesson? Because <laughs> I'm sure I feel that way about a lot of things in life. <coughs> well, uh, and that, that's luckily that was not really a coughing fit, and that's pretty much as bad as it's gotten. So, mm, yeah, I would say stick with this one in moderation if you're going to be trying to drink it black, because you're going to be confronted with a uh, pretty strong brew. So, they had some other teas at the market, but. I didn't, um, I don't know, there, well, I was, I was going back and forth on a couple of different ones, but I didn't really want to waste a lot of time. So, this is now added to my stable, so I'll probably get through a little bit of it <clears throat> before I give it away. 